Welcome back. In the previous video, we attempted to use a field from the dimension table in the values area, but we got an error message because we should have taken the values from the fact table. So we're going to create calculated columns or measures to work around that. If you have any questions, please put them in the description box below. And if you are yet to subscribe, now is a good time to click that subscribe button. Thank you. Power Pivot uses DAX formulas, which are very similar to Excel formulas. There are two types of DAX formulas, calculated columns and measures. There are some important points you should note about measures and calculated columns. Measures and calculated columns are similar because they are both based on formulas. However, they are used differently. Measures are mostly used in the values area of a pivot table, while calculated columns can be used in any area of the pivot table. When you calculate a measure, you get a single value. However, calculated columns result in a single value for each row. Now let's take a look at calculated columns. Calculated columns are similar to calculated fields in the regular pivot table. If you haven't seen my video on calculated items and fields in pivot table, the link is in the description box below. Now let's go back to the data model. Let's calculate total funds received per student for 2020. Click on the cell under add column. This will be equal to enrollment multiplied by 2020. Just like Excel, type equal to and then an opening square bracket. This will bring up the list of all the columns in this table. Use the down arrow and tab to select enrollment. Then multiply by square bracket again and tab to select 2020. Hit enter. Now we have our calculated column. Double click on the header to change the name. 2020 funds received. You notice that the color of the column header has changed to black. This will help you identify a calculated column. Select the column and change the formatting right here. Let's go with currency formatting and decrease decimal. Please note that the DAX formula is automatically applied to the entire column. Unlike Excel, when you can have different formulas in the rows. Now, if we want to get the total funding per student for 2021, we have to look up the values from the 2021 funding table. And the DAX formula that will help us retrieve the values is the related function. The related function finds a value from a related table. So we're going to multiply the 2021 funding by enrollment. So type the equal sign related Use the down arrow and tab to select the table 2021. Close the bracket. Multiply it by type square bracket again to bring up the columns in this table. And tab to select enrollment. Hit enter. Double click on the header to change the name. Select the column and change the formatting right here. Now let's go back to Excel. I'm going to drag and drop 2021 fund into values now that we have it in the fact table. We have successfully linked values from the dimension table to the values area. In the next video, we'll take a look at measures and how we can use them in the pivot table.